I'd like to give you a brief tour of the SSC32 from Lynx Motion. This board can be used to power and control all of the robots in the SES kit as well as anything else you might come up with. The first thing I'd like to talk about is the power supply for this module. You'll see that there are three different power blocks, a VS1, a VS2, and a VL. VS stands for servo voltage and VL stands for logic voltage. Logic voltage is the voltage required to power the onboard circuitry. The VS plugs are used for servo voltage and the servo voltage is any battery that you plug into either or both of these two ports. VL or logic voltage is generally powered with a 9 volt battery. With the onboard dropout regulator it will always be 5 volts to the board so a 9 volt battery will power all of your electronics. For inputs and outputs there are 32 sets of pins. They're numbered from 0 to 31. Pins 0 through 15 are on one side of the board and 16 through 32 are on the other. Please notice that all inputs and outputs are labeled with a ground, power, and pulse label. The ground symbol for the outside row, the black wire on any input always goes on the outside row. The middle row is always powered and the inside pin on both sides is for the pulse or the input. There are two sets of jumpers near the power blocks. The VL equals VS jumper with that in place you can power everything including the onboard electronics from either VS1 or VS2. The other set of two jumpers will allow you to power both VS1 and VS2 together from one power source or let you do it separately. The SSC32 uses serial communication to talk with your computer. There are two sets of pins that allow you to change the baud rate Another really nice feature of this servo controller is the fact that it has four separate inputs and they're here on the board labeled A, B, C, and D. These inputs can be either analog or digital. Lastly, with these two jumpers installed, it enables the DB9 port on this board. If you remove those two jumpers, it allows you to utilize a TTL serial communication from another microcontroller like the BOP Arduino. All of these features together make the SSC32 a very versatile servo controller.